hey guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to make banana nut bread in the crock pot I've never made this recipe before um, but if you've been following me for a while you know that in the month of September I'm doing a no spend challenge which means I'm not going grocery shopping so I figured I would use this opportunity to use up some bananas that I had in my freezer it's still um, really hot I live in the south so it'll probably be hot well into November so instead of heating up the house with the oven, I'm going to use the crock pot. And I like to try out new crock pot um, dessert recipes too because I think that they're um, vastly under underrated. So I'm going to show you guys um, the ingredients it takes to make this. And the recipe will be in the description box. Now this is not my recipe. I just did a Google search of crock pot banana bread. And I'm actually tweaking this recipe. The recipe calls for chocolate chips, but I don't personally like chocolate chips in my banana bread. I think that it kind of comes out funny. And I also think that a lot of times um, crock pot desserts with chocolate chips um, don't really turn out that good, at least in my opinion. So instead of chocolate chips, I'm going to use nuts. And I think that's the only thing that I'm changing about it. Um, but this is not my original recipe, um, but I am going to have it down below for you guys to check out. First things first, this is the crock pot I'll be using and it says to put parchment paper in a cross-like um, form and then spray it with um, just basic non-cook, uh, non-stick cooking spray, whatever you like to use. And then you pour the batter in there um, and it helps the bread come out easier. These are the ingredients. It calls for butter, but I'm going to be using oil it calls for flour, but I like to use pancake um, mix. I do this when I make my um, peach cobbler, and it turns out really good, so I'm going to give it a try with the banana bread. These are just three bananas that have been sitting out. They were from my freezer. Eggs from my parents' chickens. We got salt, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, brown sugar, regular sugar, vanilla, and then instead of chocolate chips, I'm going to be using pecans. So the only things that I've changed about this recipe is pecans instead of chocolate chips and pancake mix instead of flour, but everything else um, will be the same and I will have that in the description box below um, the differences. Here's the ingredients all mixed together and then I am just going to pour it into the crock pot. Here it is poured into the crock pot. As you can see, you just keep the parch you keep it between the parchment paper um, and it's supposed to be easier for it to lift out later. So we will see. It says that you're supposed to cook it on high. So I have it on high for four hours, but it says to keep an eye on it because of course all slow cookers are different. So I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm gonna come back and check it in a little while and see where we are at. This has been cooking for about two hours and as you can see the edges are starting to get crispy, but the middle is still um, undercooked. So I turned it down to low and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it for the next um, hour, hour and a half and see where we are from there. Okay, so it cooked on high for about two hours and then cooked on low for another two hours. The top is a little bit sticky, but I'm going to let it sit out. As you guys can see, my brother has already gotten into it and he said it that it was really good. So um, I think I think this was a success. And I think we're not going to take it out of the crock pot. We're just going to spoon it out as is. So it's going to be kind of like a I don't know, like a bread pudding, but as a banana bread. But I'm sure that you guys could pull it out after it cools down a bit and that it would come out just nice. And remember the directions and ingredients will be in the description box below. So that is banana nut bread in the crock pot. Again, this is the first time that I've ever made it. Um, I did sample it and it tastes really good. Um, I would definitely make this again. I might make this for the community dinner that I volunteer at. I think that they would really like it over there. Um, and there's, I also saw online that you could do this recipe, but instead of using bananas, you use canned pumpkin or canned um, pie filling of some kind. And then that just adapts the, the flavor to that, which I think I'll, I might do that next time just to kind of change it up. So please consider subscribing to my channel. If you did not know, I have an Instagram, The Frugal Life of Mercedes. And until next time, bye.